What's up everybody and welcome to a new video. I wanted to touch on the subject because it's an interesting topic and I think the player itself is very interesting. I want to talk about if Joker from the Denver Nuggets is enough to bring the Denver Nuggets to the NBA Finals. Now, if you don't know who this is, you should probably look him up because he's in the MVP race, he's a fantastic player, he's a center for the Denver Nuggets, and he's having a pretty good stinking season currently. Right now, he's averaging about 27 points per game, 11 rebounds, and 8 assists per game. That's really good for a player, his kind of position, someone that is in the paint, who depends on rebounds and high percent of shots in the paint. Now, the Denver Nuggets currently haven't been doing too well. Uh, for reasons I don't really understand, you kind of look at the roster when you guys have like the Joker, then you have Will Barton, then you have Gary Harris and Paul Millsup and Jamal Murray and all these players that typically together should make a decent team. But for some reason, things just aren't clicking that they, the way they have been in the past current seasons. Now, as far as the standings go and things of that nature they're not doing too well it's kind of out of the picture i mean currently they are let's see here they are only the 60 now that's good enough for a playoff team out of their last 10 they are seven and three things are starting to look up but with denver you never know now i believe they were in the in the western in the western conference finals last season and they got demolished by the Lakers and they're in a different conference and it's and it's hard you know the Western Conference you have a lot of high powered teams and things like that but I will give them a little bit of credit being seven and three in the last ten games but you're looking at the roster and you're thinking to yourself this team should be better you have players and guys that can make the shots and who can power up the offense and really just take the team to a whole nother level and it just doesn't seem to be clicking the way that it should be. It could be coaching, it could be one player, it could be two players, but I think the Denver Nuggets really need to build around the Joker because that is your cornerstone. Kind of like Philly is with Joe Allen B. Now there's a lot of trade, with, trade talks with him po possibly getting rid of Ben Simmons because the Sixers realized you need that centerpiece. You need that guy down in the paint who can, who is dynamic and who is versatile and can make those plays and those shots and the rebounds and everything that comes with being that like, type of player. And the Joker is the same type of player. He's certainly getting paid like that kind of player as well. So the Denver Nuggets need to figure something out if they're going to make any kind of actual run in the Western Conference because right now, it doesn't seem like any team's really going to uh, fall off and, and lose their steam. I mean, you never know what the Suns are going to do and the Jazz are going to do, but there's going to be a tough go in the playoffs, and the Denver Nuggets need to be ready. And it just seems like there's something going on. If it's getting rid of some players, if it's getting someone different, if it's certain players stepping up, if it's Harris or if it's Barton or if it's this person, this person. But something's got to go, something's got to change for them to make a real push in the playoffs. What do you guys think about if the Joker is enough to take the team to the playoffs, take the team to the NBA Finals, and win a chip? Let us know in the comment section below, and we'll see you guys next time.